welcome back to my channel i do want to apologize if you can hear the road sweeper in the background we are on a new build estate and there is a road sweeper that drives past every half an hour for eight hours of the day it drives me insane and i i've just got to get on with this it was my mom's birthday yesterday and to celebrate her birthday me and her are just going to go away for a couple of days we're not going too far only about half an hour away but we're gonna stay in a caravan so i thought i would do like a chill weekly reading vlog whilst i am there i did a poll on instagram of a couple of books and just asked what people thought i should take with me and i think i got about 50 votes in the end which was a lot more than i thought but the winning book was actually reckless by elsie silver and then the second book was done and dusted by lila sage so i thought i would take both of these i don't want to risk just taking one book like i'm probably going to read more than that i am also going to take my kindle as well i'm currently reading an arc from net galley which is called secrets evergreen by sarah knightley i think so i'm gonna finish reading that whilst i'm away i'm just over 50 percent of that but i'm really really hooked and i read the first 50 percent of it yesterday so i think i'm gonna get through that one quite quickly so i'm gonna take these two i did also start yesterday loving the time of serial killers because i wasn't too sure whether i was gonna like this or not so i thought i would start it and then if i'm not enjoying it at least i know i can dnf it i'm kind of into it i'm 62 pages in so i don't know whether to take this with me as well because i've already started it but, but i'm not hooked to it so i feel like i could leave it a couple of days and then pick it up when i get home and then focus on two like highly anticipated predicted five star reads i don't know i might take this with me i think i'll sit and read it for a bit now until my mom gets here to pick me up and then decide but i'm definitely gonna take these two four o'clock we have just arrived here we went shopping this morning um i got a few bits in primark and then we headed down here there's like a pool and stuff on site so we might go for a swim a bit later on or we might just have a little wander to the shop and get some dinner but i think tonight i'm gonna start done and dusted as my first book whilst we're waiting to check in i did finish reading secrets evergreen the arc um so I need to write up that review and luckily we have Wi-Fi here and I did bring my laptop so I might try and do that tonight and then that's one more art cross on my list so I can start another one. So yeah, I've kind of read a book already before we've even really started. Yeah, I'm gonna unpack everything, settle in and probably pick up Done and Dusted. It's the next day so last night i read the first three or four chapters of done and dusted i'm liking it it is feeling very very similar to elsie silver's chestnut spring series so far with like the whole ranches and cowboys and stuff but i love that series so i don't mind that it's seeming too similar so far but we have come to a country park and we're just going to do a bit of a walk today got back from our walk we then popped into like another little town and we went there specifically because they have a fudge shop and it's like all homemade there so i got some oreo fudge i get this every time we go there and then also i got this like little bee glass bumblebee at the country park gift shop i don't know if it's gonna like show very well but i thought it was really cute and i'm gonna put this on my bookshelf i've just got to try not to lose it between now and getting home i think we're gonna go for a swim potentially before dinner but i'm gonna sit and read a bit more of done and dusted i am up to chapter eight i am trying to tab i've tabbed two bits already of just like quotes that i thought were quite cute i'm getting through this quite quickly so i feel like i might be able to finish this by tomorrow and then i'm hoping to finish reckless for the second half of our break 
I'll read some more now. I'll update you a bit later. It is the evening now. We didn't end up going swimming. We just spent the whole afternoon here in the caravan. So I actually ended up finishing done and dusted. So I read this within 24 hours. I only managed to tab four bits in the end. And overall, I would rate this 4.75 out of five. It does feel very, very similar to the Chestnut Springs series by Elsie Silver. So if you do like that series and those books, I would definitely recommend giving this one a go. The one thing that like did bug me a little bit is this is a brother's best friend. And that was mentioned like quite a lot throughout. And it was like, we know that. But other than that, it was really enjoyable. There was like a bit of spice. It was really, really sweet. Emmy and Luke were both like really relatable characters. And I just found that it was like a really sweet romance. It wasn't like really heavy or anything. So if you just want something like a quick, easy read, then this is definitely one for you. But if you want something with like a bit more depth to it, then it didn't really have that. Like it was a fun time, but it wasn't like the most amazing book that I've ever read. But still, four point seven five stars out of five is still a really good rating so i'm probably not going to read any more tonight but tomorrow i am going to pick up a reckless which i'm really looking forward to it is the next morning we're about to head out to a town there's like a water stones and works there so we're going to sit in the water stones cafe and have a hot chocolate i think and then there's a couple of charity shops so just gonna have a wander around i did actually start reckless last night i only read like the first chapter so can't really say too much on it yet just a got back i didn't buy anything in waterstones i almost did but i controlled myself and then i went in the works and got three books and a three for six pounds deal so i got still unwritten filthy rich vampire which i've never seen but i love a vampire romance and the nanny which i've heard lots of great things about so i don't think i'm gonna get to any of these this week this afternoon we are gonna go for our swim so i think i might try and read a chapter or two of reckless before then it is thursday it is our last full day here we go home tomorrow so still reading reckless i made a bit of a dent in it yesterday i'm up to chapter 15 which is page 138 i have this much left and i feel like if i push myself i could finish this today i kind of want to finish it before I go home so I can have like a fresh start of reading when I get back so if you don't know anything about Reckless this is book four in the Chestnut Spring series is Winter and Theo's story Winter is summer from book one's sister and this is like accidental pregnancy trope which is a trope I tend to avoid in books and this is one that I wasn't going to pick up because of that trope however I have really loved everything that I've ever read by Elsie Silver so I thought that if I was gonna be able to read that trope and enjoy that trope it is going to be a book that's been written by her so I'm liking it at the start it was like a little bit of a slow build up so I wasn't sure if I was going to make it through but once I got over that like initial bit I've actually really got into it yeah Winter and Theo have a one night stand at the very start which obviously results in a pregnancy and, and Winter has a daughter called Vivian she contacts Theo about it when she first finds out and he's really like brute about it and doesn't want anything to do with it so she's just like well I'm gonna be a single mom. Turns out that there was a reason why he messaged her like that and he's kind of just come back to town and is trying to have a relationship with his daughter. That's the bit I'm at at the minute. He has just kind of come back around Winter and Vivian. Yeah I'm gonna sit and read a little bit more now before we head out for the day. At the minute I would say it's about a four out of five stars. <laughs> awful it 
it's pouring so we went into like a shopping centre nearby and I picked up some things which oh, I'm so excited about so I haven't read any more it's just coming up to half past four we've just been out for a walk in the woods in the rain um so yeah I'm gonna show you the things that I picked up I got this little bunny and he's holding a little heart but like I love rabbits they're my favorite animals so I couldn't leave him behind and then I also got this they had loads of different flowers but this one has a smiley face so that needed to come home with me too so that's going on my bookshelf but this this is what I'm most excited for so this was at 25 pounds but oh my gosh this is gonna look so good on my bookshelf um, but it's like all made out of wood there's some little books on here and I wish like I was crafty enough to maybe like write the names of some of my favorite books on here but like I don't want to ruin it but there's like a little apple and some little flowers and I love this so much it's Friday I have just got home and yesterday I did finish reading Reckless I gave it five stars overall I did really like it I found that the book focused a lot more on character development over like having a really dramatic plot you really got to see like winter get used to the idea of people liking her and being loved and really opening up to that which was really nice there wasn't really much drama or anything it just really solely focused on winter and theo and having this relationship co-parenting to benefit their daughter and all of the characters from the other books in the series all were popping up throughout which was quite nice although I will say every time they come up they are all like so in love and it just feels like a little unrealistic that there's like no dramas they're all just like perfectly in love and like I said I was nervous going into it because of the tropes and I just felt that it was like handled really well and I really enjoyed it and I'm glad that I did pick it up but I'm now sad I only have one more book left of the Chestnut Spring series and then I'm going to be done with it but I think I'm definitely going to reread the series at some point in the future but yeah I had a really nice a few days away in the forest and I read two books which was good.